questions, let me just show you a couple more fun um, simulations. So I guess I showed you, um, so this is, was the uh, partially elastic collision and I can show you, I showed you the elastic collision and I can show you what we will call completely inelastic collision. So there, what I do with the elasticity is I set it to zero. That's where restitution or, yeah, well, elasticity is zero. It, the thing is not elastic at all. It just sticks to whatever it collides with. As in, it, um, so one way you can look at it is it, um, whenever now these two objects collide, it'll dissipate, it'll get rid of as much kinetic energy as it can possibly do. So let's try that. I'll try to follow this curve as closely as I can. And these two things, oh, well, I didn't do, well, if we did what I wanted it to do, then I guess restitution zero doesn't do what I thought it would do. Well, um, so the most it would have done is it would have uh, made the kinetic, um, it would have made those two things uh, stick to each other. That's the situation where uh, it dissipates as much kinetic energy as possible. But even then what you would have seen is that these two balls continue to move. It uh, continues to move at some speed. And when you work out the math, it ends up being one meter per second. And um, the reason when it has zero restitution or it dissipates away as much energy as possible, it doesn't drop the velocity to zero, is that when these two things are going through this interaction, um, they still need to conserve momentum. So um, the only way they can conserve momentum is by uh, having these two things still moving by some amount. Um, so that's one, uh, let me just uh, return this to the normal thing. And I wanted to just show you a couple of fun possibilities. So let's say they have about, uh, it's 0 0.5. Um, so that's kind of a more normal object that you see cl that's closer to your day-to-day -day thing. And um, I, what I will tell you is I can have this uh, first of all do all sorts of different things. So uh, you've seen it, oops, you've seen it, um, yeah, let me turn off these things because it's kind of boring now. You've seen it kind of come to close to a stop. You've seen it do that. And um, I can have changed the arrangement so that this thing uh, moves backward. I can take this and make it bigger. Is there a scale? Mm. Well, let me just draw a bigger um, ball. So if I have a bigger ball here, with the zero friction, because I don't want it interacting with the ground, then you will, well, actually, sorry, that's gonna have a little bit of an issue because of that surface. Yeah, let me do that instead. And let me again, still give a zero friction with the ground so that the interaction will be smooth. And now when the ball bounces into this, it'll bounce back. It's kind of like a bouncing on a wall. Um, this is, uh, but you know, it's not exactly a wall, so it moves a little bit to the right, and this bounces back. And um, and another situation I can set up is where this ball clearly keeps on moving forward. Mm, how do I do this best? Mm, I think the way to do it is I can have this cloned ball but I can make it density smaller so that um, even though it's the same size, I can have it uh, be a, I can have it be a, a much lighter ball. Then what you will see is that as they collide, something fun will happen. I hope, we'll see. This keeps on moving more or less forward and that's moving forward much uh, faster than before. You can kind of imagine it as um, 
like a ball being here and a heavy object like a car coming in and hitting it and then ball and um, when the heavy object hits a lighter object it keeps moving on forward and what you will discover with the things you learn in chapter four and five is that um, how these three different ways these things collide uh, that after collision either this thing stops completely or it keeps on moving forward or it bounces back. It's all decided by um, how the mass, two masses compare. If this mass is much heavier or much bigger, much more massive thing, then when they collide, this first of all bounces back as if it's bouncing from a wall. And, um, and if this ball is much lighter, then it keeps on moving forward. If it's um, about the same mass, then it's supposed to stop if it's completely elastic collision. If it's not, then it moves forward a little bit. So, okay, so I think that's a kind of a long enough of an introduction to the concept of energy and momentum. And um, once again, this simulation is available. It's called Algodoo. Uh, it's a free simulation that you can download from their website, algodoo.com and you can play with it on your own time.